Tom is back, still tracking the remnants of Florence on this Monday. And we're getting soaked. Uh, Central Kentucky, northern counties have had quite a bit of rain overnight. I mean, one look at our live weather book camera downtown, and we've got it split obviously into three panels here. We're not going to see much on any of them. We've got a lot of rain. It's a wet, soggy commute for you this morning. You want to watch out for low visibility. That's the big blue building right there. You can almost not even see it. It's obscured by the low cloud cover and the rainfall and probably some uh, rain induced fog there. So watch out. Now it doesn't look all that impressive on the Max Track Live, although we did have bands of moderate rain that set up overnight. Some of the heaviest rain now off to our northeast, but you occasionally see these pops of yellow indications of some heavier rain mixing in there. So it's more of a nuisance and a potential hazard on the roadways to a big time threat as far as any kind of flooding goes. Definitely not going to be a repeat performance of Gordon from last weekend. You remember the soaking we got there and all the flash flooding issues that we had and lighter amounts down south. So that low is going to continue to track through here where they don't need rain. They're still seeing it. Look at this bands of heavy rain, even some strong to severe storms. They just had a tornado watch for parts of southern North Carolina expire around five o'clock this morning. Uh, so they got just the 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 uh, worst of this storm. Flash flood flood warnings continue Wilmington up through New Bern. You can see Radar estimated rainfall 20 to about 25 inches of rain, but there are spots that exceeded 30 inches of rain. So North Carolina shattered their max tropical cyclone related precipitation. Every state has a number uh, and uh, well, boy, they have maxed out over 30 inches of rain in spots. And of course, as I showed you, it's still raining. So the number not even official yet. We've had almost eight tenths of an inch of rain in Lexington overnight, so we have had uh, some wet weather rolling in. You can see the wind converging on that low, the remnants of uh, what was once a hurricane, and it continues to track northeast as we go through the day, and you'll continue to see these wraparound showers. You may have mixed a little thunder in later on this afternoon. And then we finally shake the bulk of it tomorrow, maybe a thin line of uh, pop of a few showers, isolated showers Tuesday, and then we dry out and we get hot. Rainfall, as we've already seen, may exceed an inch, push two inches in spots. We've already uh, almost uh, had an inch in spots. We've got the rest of the day to go through, but there's the low. Tropical depression becoming extra tropical, losing its tropical characteristics as it arcs up towards Ohio and West Virginia today and then Pennsylvania toward midweek. Now, in the tropics, things have really uh, simmered down. There's a batch of uh, showers and storms down around Jamaica. They're watching for some formation. Tropical Depression Joyce is the only other player out there and it's way out in the Atlantic. So, you know, after that peak and that big time burst of activity, things have backed off. 70 degrees now this weekend. Fall begins. It's the autumnal equinox Saturday night. Can you believe it? It's not going to feel much like fall leading into it. In fact, we're still going to feel like the depths of summer. Look at the heat spike as high pressure builds in. We can get into the mid to eventually upper 80s for highs. It is going to be hot out there. So watch out, you know, it's cool, it's wet today, temperatures in the mid 70s, but we're going to dry out, the sun's out, and it's going to feel on the hot side by the middle of the end of the week before we back off the heat a little bit. We're only cooling down this weekend as shower and storm chances fire back up to around our average high, upper 70s, maybe some mid 70s by Sunday.